Hello guys, my name is Joel Guillen and this will be my first YouTube video. Um, today's going to be a trucking vlog. I'm going to take you along my route, show you how it is in this industry. Um, it's not always good, it's not always bad. So, got a muscle man knows good run. So, stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So here guys is a log sheet, but I run on a daily basis. I can't show you that because that's my personal information on my addresses. But right here, these are my truck, my trailer numbers. Right here are my B of L last four, where I went, started, where I went to. These are all my stops I did throughout the night, throughout the day slash night. So I went from Madera to Visalia, Fresno, back to Madera for gas. Then I went to Tracy, then Livermore, back to Madera. So every stop you do, you're gonna be putting how long you've been there. So right here, I started in Madera at 12.30, 15 minute pre-trip. I left at 12.45, took me an hour to get to Visalia. I got there at 1.45, went down, did my, I'm on duty, not driving, cause I'm waiting. So you do that throughout the whole night and you just calculate your hours right here at the end. And you got to equal 24 hours in a day. Right here, you're gonna put total miles driven in one day. If you have any more questions on the log sheets, I'd be happy to help you guys. I could just do a video of log sheets on how to do them, how to do on duties, drivings, off duties for 24 hours, 48 hours. I could help you guys with that. Just let me know down below and we'll be getting back on the road right now and showing you guys the run. I got my license when I was 18, going to be 19. It took me four weeks. I went right here to the PSR training vocation on Fresno. Great school to go to, great how. Um, to, I got there, they told me what I needed to do, how it was working, and I did it. I went to the DMV February 18th, and I said I wanted to get it that day before I started. Pushed it. Did anything else gonna pass? I passed it. Got my license. Next week starts, I'm on the road rolling. Ever since then, it's been good. Yeah, there's ups and downs in it. Not always a good day out here, especially with these four wheelers that try to cut us off, think we can break fast, we can't. But for me, I, I'm i doing good with it. I love it, it's amazing. And I for any better job. Right now I'm driving a 10 speed manual uh, my trucks in the shop hopefully i'll be getting it back today that one's a 10 speed automatic um, if you want to if you're looking to get into trucking i say go for it make sure you look for the right schooling there's some schools that help you pay for the schooling to get it there's some that offer a little bit of it excuse me it just varies um now there's new rules I don't know what school you're going to go to that's going to say what you need to do, how to do it. Um, but there's a school that everybody goes to. It's called Advanced Career Institution, I think it is, where you're the, they, I think, help you pay for it. So, yeah, guys, I'm out here passing her and going to this idea. This is how it is out here. All dead. I'm bobtailing. Pretty easy. Next for a better view than this. If you guys have any questions later on down the road or after I drop this video, go ahead and let me know. I'll try to get back with a good response. Um, we'll see how it goes from there. I'll get back to you guys. I'm in Visalia and catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I'm back on here letting you guys know there's a part about trucking that sucks out here in traffic. Not good. I'll catch up with you guys when I get into Visalia or when I find something else out. So we have made it, checked in. So my load isn't ready yet. So we gotta go ahead and sip for about, I don't know, 30 minutes. And we'll get back on the road. I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated. So we have got our load. They just told me it was ready at Dog Door 228. 
which is coming up right here. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up to it. I'm gonna show you guys some of the hookup right now. That way you guys can see how to hook it up and how to do like a tug test before you take off. airlines at all of you right here let's go ahead and connect them probably doing this one handed just like that and then all your electric port air I'm back in the truck, going ahead and pulling out of the dock right now. We're going to go ahead and close our doors, seal it up. Good to go. Get on out of here. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to check the tires and air leaks and close your door seal it up and we'll go ahead and go from there and go ahead and put the flash shoes on First, we'll go ahead and close the door. Let's check the tires actually first. And then, so I just get a metal rod or hammer, check the tires. This one looks, sounds kind of flat, but it's not. Let's go check the other side. are good now it's time to go ahead and close the doors and they give you these beat up trailers not the best ones to work with. There's a seal. Let's go ahead and get this door. These elements don't work out here, man. Save tires on these trailers for no reason. Literally no reason. <laughs> they give you two different type of doors. You gotta freaking wrestle with them out here. Let's 
ceiling. Put it through there. You get the point. Just like that, sealed up. I'll let's do paperwork and get out of here. All right, guys, we're out of there already. I'm driving to catch the freeway. So my next stop is Stockton the airport to drop off my load get a new load so I'll go ahead and catch you guys down the road or I'll catch you guys there in Stockton and keep you guys updated on what's going on throughout the route um, I'll probably update you guys while I'm driving down the road and then see what happens with my load later on See you later. So I'm out here in Fresno in traffic again. Doing construction this is the part that nobody really talks about. Well now no it's really not construction, it's a car that flips or rolls. See right there. There's some CHP officers. That's the kind of work that we have to deal with out here. So yeah, the last stuff you guys just seen was that car accident. Um, so now, next to you'll be seen is me arriving in Stockton to get unloaded. But there's uh, another clip before that you'll see it, which probably won't be. But next clip will be the Stockton one. So, okay, guys out there, vamos. We have made it here to Stockton already. Checked in, we're gonna get unloaded. So, all right now I'm gonna open my doors, go dock. And my load isn't ready, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and wait for them to call me. And then once they call me, then I'll go ahead and dock to reload. But right now, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Here at this airport, we gotta move our tandems. And it's not a lot, but kind of sucks. So right here, you gotta move, pull this little lever out. Some you have to pull all the way out, like the handle. Mine's locked. So let me go ahead and just move it. Once it's locked, you gotta release your trailer brakes. Once you release your trailer brakes, go ahead. So now I'll just go ahead and release them. Just like that, released.
of the docks. That's what it looks like when you move your tandems. So I'm going to 104, so this way, be close to him. Shoot out. to reverse when your tandems are back. So I finally got unloaded. You can tell I'm parked out here. Door still open. So I don't know how long I have to wait. Could be anywhere from an hour, two hours, three hours. Um but yeah, I'm out here just waiting. There ain't really nothing else better to do no more. But parked over there. Now I just gotta wait to get unloaded this is how I parked it right now can't really do nothing anywhere else to park but right here still got my tandems back so yeah we're gonna just leave it here for the next who knows how long till I get a door so just unloaded ain't got nothing in there but straps so yeah, um, I'll get back with you guys when I can get called for a door. Probably take me a little nap, but we'll see. So I'm sitting here in Stockton still, and my load has just arrived right there. That's the Amazon plane. It's now 5.38. Um, probably sit here for another three hours for them to unload that plane, sort our loads, and load us up. So, probably order me some food to the airport. Because they don't allow us to just drop our trailers and take off. So, probably go ahead and do that. Hard about trucking right there, can't complain about it though. See what happens. Hey guys, well, giving a little update to what's going on right now. I am still out here in Stockton. Um, as you can tell, I'm still in the same spot, not even loaded yet. Um, 
I went and checked. Someone's already in the dock for the same location I'm going to. So what's gonna happen now? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's video here. Um, probably do another video tomorrow. Probably won't be a trucking vlog. Probably be something else. Um, but Saturday I'll be back on the road. So I'll be doing another trucking vlog. But as you can tell, today's coming to an end. Pretty full here. Docks are full. So yeah, we'll go ahead and close today's video out. This is the dock over here. We're closing out today's video here in Stockton. Um, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications and get time get updated every time I post a new video. Um, this is my first video, so it's not gonna be good. It's gonna be kind of weird. I gotta get used to this. So we'll go ahead and see how the next video goes. But thank you for watching.